present myself as somewhat of an actuarial authority on YouTube, or at least as someone who is informed about how to become an actuary in North America, and I try to share that information with you guys in the form of videos, in the form of teaching you what I know so that you can make an informed decision about the question, should I become an actuary? People leave me questions from all over the world about becoming an actuary, and I think that is so incredibly amazing that I've amassed this collection of subscribers who really have questions and think that I'm someone who can possibly answer them, but I can't answer every question. And it breaks my heart when I get questions from people asking things like, I know I like math, so should I be an actuary? Or I really want to be sure about being an actuary before I go into it, so do you think I'm right for it? And I think these people must understand that I can't make the decision for you. Knowing that you like math does not mean that you will like being an actuary. And Lord knows I'm a walking, talking, existential crisis. Like, I wish there was something that I could go and put my name into a machine and it goes, this is exactly what you're meant to be doing. But there isn't. All I can do is let you guys know about my experience, about the things that I know, in hopes that you can make your own decision with a little bit more information. So when I answer the question, should I be an actuary, these are the reasons why I say yes. The first reason is that I always love math, but I wasn't crazy about the idea of theoretical math. I wasn't crazy about the idea of studying math for the sake of studying math and improving our knowledge of math. I love math because it's logical. I love math because it's the basis for everything. And I think it's super important for people to study theoretical math and improve the science and move society along, but I didn't want to be that person. I like that actuarial math is an applied math. It's more theoretical than engineering, asterisk as much as I would imagine not having studied engineering. But you're still dealing with real tangible numbers. These past factors translate into this future premium. The second reason that I like being an actuary is that it is not a customer facing role. So much respect for people who can work in sales, so much respect for people who work in customer service. I do not have that personality. I cannot deal with that. I cannot be nice all the time. I'm a pleasant person. I did not want to be dealing with the public. I deal with my coworkers. I deal with upper management sometimes, but I don't have to deal with the public. There's a layer between me and the public, and that's the way I like it. The third reason that I like being an actuary is that it's a low stress job. Now, obviously this depends on a lot of factors. If you have a boss who's very stressful or coworkers who are very stressful, it can become stressful, but the work in and of itself, I don't find it to be stressful. I find it to be fun. I think that I'm thinking all day, which makes the day go by faster. I enjoy what I'm doing. And I also work on an internal team within an insurance company, so my customers are people internal to the insurance company. So our deadlines are a lot looser than a team that had to respond to someone external, like a team that deals with regulators or a consulting team that deals with clients. And so I find that that also helps reduce the stress. The fourth and final reason that I'm gonna to give today why I like being an actuary is that it feels like a job that can't just be replaced by a computer. When I'm building actuarial models, when I'm building actuarial projections, I use the computer as a tool but the computer doesn't feel like it could replace me. There's a lot of human judgment that goes into actuarial math. Essentially, you're trying to use math to predict the future. And while a computer can really help you pick up on past trends, a computer doesn't know what you know. A computer can't see what you see. A computer doesn't go talk to the claims team to see if there's been a change in how you handle claims, talk to underwriting to see if there's been a change in who we've been selling insurance to, doesn't talk to regulators to see if there have been changes in laws that would influence how insurance prices are gonna be affected, changing things, claims, oh my gosh, I'm so good at sentences. But you understand, that's a human thing. Humans gotta do it. At least for now. Like one day our robot overlords will take over. But for today, I don't feel replaceable by a computer. I like that I have to use my brain. I like that I have to use my judgment. And I like that I'm bringing value as a human. <laughs> that's why I say yes to should I be an actuary. If you don't identify with some of the things that I say, that doesn't mean that you're not gonna like being an actuary. So don't let it be like your cutoff reason for not deciding to be an actuary. I'm just trying to inform you, let you make your decisions, and I hope that you do like it if you try it, or if you decide to quit, that's fine. Find your truth, 
live your life. I believe in you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you support me at uh, supporting the actuarial community, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more of my face. I put out new videos whenever I feel like it, and I've been live streaming a lot and getting a lot of questions about being an actuary, so if you happen to catch me while I'm live streaming, say hi, let me know. Go, hi, I'm watching, and I'll be like, hey, you're awesome. Thank you for calling. Bye. Hello. Goodbye. Hello.